So they're just flat shapes at the moment, but the shadows eventually will turn them into three-dimensional. I think the next job is to paint the marum grass. I'm going to mix some bit of grass mix-up, which is uh, gamboge and a little, a little touch of phthalo blue. We'll start off with some lighter touches. And then we'll go darker. Perhaps we'll add a little bit of burnt umber to the mix. That'll give us a nice dark green. Some more in here. They'll be a little smaller here because they're a little bit further away. And um, maybe a touch in here as well. And also, just to uh, liven up that green, I'm just going to put a bit of complementary colour, which would be a little bit of burnt sienna possibly into it, and just to be on the other side of the colour wheel to the, to the green. I think now, while that's just drying, I'm going to go back into this section and um, create a few shadows on the um, on the waves. I think I'll just put a little bit of um, phthalo blue and a bit of cobalt together for that. And just get a random sort of stroke. Maybe the odd bit right through into the sea behind. And let the brush follow the movement of the sea so that it's uh, so it's sweeping down and flat, you see. I think I'm going to let this sand area dry a little bit before I do any more now. Right, I'm, I'm going to have a go at the grasses again now to give a little bit more detail. I'll mix up some bit more grass mix, which is the gamboge and the phthalo blue with a, a little bit of um, burnt sienna as well.
you get these long trailing um, root systems. Breaking through and diving under the sand and, and it all makes up for interesting shapes then. Perhaps I'll have the odd bit of grass sticking up here and there. And um, make sure that they're not evenly spaced. We don't want to have rows of soldiers marching across the sands. Right, we'll now I think have a go at the at the rocks. Now for the rocks, I'm going to use ultramarine and um, some burnt sienna. I'm not mixing it too carefully in my brush. Maybe even put a bit of red in here. You know. And we'll get the razor blade now, and uh, the light's going to come in from the, the from the left. So therefore, I need to highlight the rocks that side as well. So with this razor blade, I'm just going to scrape out. Remember, keep the blade flat. Otherwise, you're going to dig into the paper and cut it. And the bottom edge of these rocks, I want to have a, a rough edge. Gives the impression of dry sand. So I don't want too much water in a brush to do this. Scrape a little bit on that one as well. There we are. And now we'll let that dry. And, uh, and then it's time to really pull it all together with the shadows. <laughs> 